drawing screams of excitement and tears of joy. This year's hottest status symbol and most coveted holiday gift is the Stanley Tumbler. The 40 ounce quencher, a favorite for preteens and adults alike, comes in a variety of colors and costs $45. Fans lining up for new releases and limited edition items like these Valentine's Day bottles. Limit two for guests. It's reminding some of the Beanie Baby craze or a classic Black Friday stampede. Adding to the legend, viral videos of the cup's indestructibility, like this one that survived a car fire. Stanley even going as far as to give the owner a new car. In three years, the quencher taking the company's annual sales from 73 million to 750 million, a massive bump for a brand that's been around for more than a century. But how did Stanley Cups go from thermoses for construction workers to a 13 year old's dream gift? At first, the quencher was a flop. It wasn't until a group of working moms running the popular blog, The Buy Guide, took a liking to it in 2017. They had a keen eye for what colors might work for their audience, and they were right. Stanley's president, Terrence Riley, spoke to our colleagues at CNBC. Under his direction, Stanley moved into the world of pastels. So it was a slow build over many months, and then you could see that the waiting lists began to grow. Like like so many other items, there's often a status water bottle, as funny as that might sound. It's not the first water bottle to reach cult status. Swell, Nalgene, and Hydro Flasks, all with their own moments in the spotlight. There are definitely important product quality merits, but I think more than anything, the velocity and quantity at which folks are posting about the product online is creating a sense of urgency that really hasn't been matched by many other products out there. Consumers going beyond buying bottles for daily use, TikTokers often showing off their collection of colors and customized tumblers. A way for them to express themselves um, more so than just a way for them to, to carry water around to hydrate themselves at this point. The quenchers rise, putting Stanley on the radar for more consumers. And the company is looking to seize that opportunity. So the quencher trend is certainly exciting, but we're more than just the quencher. And with that, Stephen Romo joins us now in studio. So, Stephen, let's go back to that group that sort of helped Stanley take off, at least when it came to social media. What exactly do they do? Yeah, it's called the Buy Guide. And one of the moms on board actually found the Stanley Cups even before they started their blog. And she loved it so much, she bought all the other members this cup. And then the next thing you know, they have a post calling it 40 ounces of perfection. And it took off from there back yeah. in 2017, and it's continued since. 2017, so the, the rest is history. Now, the popularity is incredible. Can other brands learn anything from Stanley? Did they do something right that maybe other companies should emulate? Yeah, it's a 100-year-old company that makes these. So they weren't really big on social media, but they really leaned into this once they saw it taking off, trying to come up with the latest colors like we've seen. Something that's really had been targeted toward outdoorsmen is now being targeted toward uh, young people and parents. So it's really come a long way just leaning into that virality, if you will. Yeah, from people who worked on construction sites. Now yeah. it's in every school in America. Sure. Uh, Stephen Romo, we appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.